Now, back to more of Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater and your host, Lisa Condit. Thank you all for listening today. I'm excited to be talking with Taylor Bloom. He is one of the actors and creators of the Simon and Garfunkel story. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. I personally am excited for the Simon and Garfunkel story to come to the Hanover Theater on Sunday, January 26th, because I remember, like you, singing Simon and Garfunkel stories with my brothers as they play the guitar growing up. And I read your bio, Taylor, and I see (laughs) that you have a little bit of that in your soul. I do, indeed. I have a little bit of a history with the music, and uh, that, that's part of what makes it such a joy to perform every night, um, apart from the fact that I feel like we do a, a good job honoring its origin and then breathing sort of new life into the music in a live way. Uh, it's just so much fun to be able to revisit some tunes that are a part of sort of uh, my upbringing. Absolutely. And it's interesting, too, because the Simon and Garfunkel story, by definition, we're going to find out things that we may not have known about the lives. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's part of what makes the show um, so interesting and so enriching and so new is because, you know, audience members who know the music get to really enjoy uh, music that's a part of who they are. Uh, Audience members who are new to the music get to see it in this new live setting. And everybody gets to understand uh, really the context that the music was created in, you know, whether it was the history of what's going on in the world at the time that songs like Sound of Silence or He Was My Brother were being written, uh, but also what was going on in the lives of Paul and Art at the time that the music was being created. So was there anything that was a surprise to you that you didn't know about um, Art or Paul Simon? Well, I don't want to give too much away because some of our, we have got a few little tricks up our sleeves. Uh, one of my favorite facts about the two of them, though, and this is sort of a 50-50, your, your, your Paul, Simon, and our Garfunkel fans, some of them know it, some of them don't, but I didn't realize uh, that they not only grew up together, but before they were Simon and Garfunkel, they were actually um, a teenage duo uh, that had called themselves Tom and Jerry, and they had uh, a little-known hit called Hey Schoolgirl. Uh, in 1956, and so that was kind of a fun little tidbit of info for me. I didn't know that either, and you know what? I I consider myself a pretty large fan, and I didn't realize that they had grown up together either. I know, it's pretty cool, and it, it sort of sheds a light on you know the depth of their connection and their ability to, to perform together so beautifully. Absolutely, and so where does this show pick us up and drop us off in their story? So the way that we've got it structured uh, was very smartly created by a guy named Dean Elliott, uh, and it's put together to, comp- to just walk you through their lives together. So we start at the very beginning. You know, they grew up in Queens uh, as neighbors. Uh, they met in school, uh, and we, we walk you through that whole time uh, when they were Tom and Jerry together, and then the time when they were apart for a little while, you know, and then their sort of reunion and their career through the years. And we, we play the music in a sort of chronological order with a, th- a few uh, exceptions thrown in, uh, you know, because we want to make sure that people are getting enough of the hits that they love so much. Uh, but so you get to really understand uh, the music and the story together from the time that they were just just young boys to the time that they were sort of Grammy-winning artists. And it is amazing how many hits they had. It really is. And so another question for you. Do you have a favorite song before you became involved with this show? And is it still the same favorite song that you love to perform now? That is a terrific question. Um, mm-hmm. my, my very favorite Simon and Garfunkel song before I became involved uh, is their song America. And it will always hold a special, special place in my heart. But I think my favorite song, I mean, it, it's such a different experience listening to the music mm-hmm. and then getting to perform it yourself with an amazing band and a live audience that's, that's just completely with you. And I think my favorite song to perform is The Boxer. Oh, yeah. It's just such a, it's an important song. It's an anthem. Everybody comes to it with a different, uh, a different take and a different personal memory. And the way it, it fits into our show, it's just at a point when, you know, we've all sort of gone on this journey together and we're, and we're excited and we're, we're happy and we've shared something beautiful. And it's just a, such a powerful moment every night. And so will we be doing too much to spoil the story if you tell us a little bit about the background behind that song? 
Um, you know, I I think I better just leave a little <laughs> bit of the mystery. I think I better. Okay. I mean, we we want people to come come see the show. <laughs> we do, Taylor. We do. And so again, the Simon and Garfunkel story is coming to the Hanover Theater on Sunday, January twenty sixth. We do have seats available on our website, which is the Hanover Theater. We spell theater with an R E dot org. This is a really great show, and tickets are reasonably priced. You can get great seats for under thirty dollars. To this show, and of course, we do have group discounts as well. Anything else you want our listeners to know about you or the show before we have to say goodbye? I I would just like to say thank you so much for uh, for being willing to host us, and I think if you come out and see the show, you're really really going to be pleased that you did. We have, we have a great time up on stage, and I think I like to think we share a great experience with everyone in the audience, and we'd love to share that experience with your community. I know we're all going to love this show, and with the music of. Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel, how could we not love it? So thank you so much, Taylor, for taking time to talk to us a little bit today. I really appreciate it. Everybody else, stay tuned. We'll be back after this quick break on Behind the Scenes with the Hanover Theater. (laughs) 